The Film Vault is a brand new collector's range of iconic classics on 4K Blu-ray, housed in new packaging containing premium collectibles, each limited to 3,000 units, featuring newly commissioned artwork by renowned artists Matt Ferguson and Flory. Full disclosure, I have been provided with these for review, however the review is not influenced in any way. What you will find here is purely my own opinion of these collectible sets. This collector's range features movies from both Warner Brothers and Universal Pictures, and these are the first four in the set, which are Blade Runner, Goodfellas, Scarface and 1917. So let's have a look exactly what these consist of. We'll start with number one, Blade Runner The Final Cut. The first thing that you will notice is that these are substantially bigger than a regular 4K or Blu-ray case. These are 22 by 18 centimeters wide and 4 centimeters deep. Each of these are packed the same. We have an outer acetate clear sleeve covering the box, which once removed allows the artwork to be seen in all of its glory without any text or logos. Beneath that we have newly commissioned artwork by Matt Ferguson. The cover image features a depiction of Rutger Hauer's character Roy Batty, which continues onto either side. There's a nice matte finish to it. On the reverse we have a promotional photo of Harrison Ford above the film's credit block. This rigid outer box is of very high quality, with a magnetic clasp on the side. Inside we find Roy Batty's final speech quoted, opposite a printed envelope, again with a nice matte finish, containing eight film fact art cards, in addition to a fold-out blueprint of the spinner vehicles from the film. Beneath that we are presented with a CD sized digipack below a crystal display plaque featuring the film's title and a silhouette of Harrison Ford's character Deckard. In the retail versions of these, the blocks are numbered from 1 to 3000. These review copies are not numbered. This has been confirmed by the publicist. The digipack has an outer slip cover. Again, matte finish with the film logo spot glossed. Folding out into four panels containing the film on 4K Ultra HD and standard Blu-ray. I can confirm that these are the same discs as the previous standalone release, only the disc labels have been changed. My first impressions of this are that it's a really nice set. It really does feel premium in every way. High quality materials, not just some cheap flimsy packaging like we've seen before on other releases of this nature. So next up is Goodfellas, the 1990 Martin Scorsese gangster masterpiece. Brilliant art on the front of this one depicting the scene from the film where Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci and Ray Liotta's characters prepare to dispose of the body of Frank Vincent's character Billy. Inside we have a printed envelope, which this time contains eight cards featuring stills and behind the scenes imagery. The fold out on this one is of the original theatrical poster. The crystal display plaque in this one features the film's title alongside this razor blade image. The artwork here is replicated across the discs featuring the late Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. Something to note here is these all fit together well. Everything is held in place securely, but there's no struggle to remove or replace the items, 
and there's something very satisfying about closing that magnetic clasp on these boxes. Next up is Brian De Palma's 1983 Gangster Classic Scarface. Again, great art on the box, this time with a depiction of Al Pacino's character Tony Montana sat at his desk with the rug cleverly resembling a pool of blood. Inside we have the envelope containing three film stills, the poster and four mugshot photos of the main cast. Also included is a replica of Tony Montana's green card. The crystal plaque features the film's logo alongside the chainsaw from that infamous scene. And last but not least is 2019 Sam Mendes multiple award winner 1917. Number four in the set and the most recent film in the collection. This one features beautiful art that really captures the feel of the movie. We have our art cards in this envelope alongside character cards. This set also features a prop replica two reproductions of Lance Corporal Schofield's family photographs as seen in the film. The digipack follows on from the same theme as the front of the box. The art really does highlight the loneliness of the situation. We also have the disc art with a 1917 logo spread between the two discs. Beautiful set for an excellent film. So, final thoughts. I am really impressed with these, although they do cost quite a bit. These are retailing at £50 a set. Most of these films you can pick up for around £20 for the standard versions. So roughly you're paying a premium of £30 on top of that for these deluxe limited edition sets. But these are nothing but premium in my opinion. They do look great together. This will be an impressive collection as more are released in the future. Between them, Warner Brothers and Universal Pictures have a very extensive catalogue of excellent films and I'm really looking forward to seeing which of them will follow in this collection. Are you thinking of adding these to your collection or have you already done so? Let us know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time on Retro Reels.